Hi, this is Mick. Um, it's been a while since I've done a video. I did a video, uh, I know, a year or two ago about milling the spoiler board for your G-code. So now I've actually created an EXE file. It's one file. Um, it's about half a megabyte. Um, doesn't save anything on your computer. Just one file. You run it. Nothing gets stored. Um, the file on the screen is called spoilerboardwizard.ee. -E. I will upload it in this format because if I upload it in an EXE format, um, that causes problems with the, with the forum. They probably don't uh, accept it. So what you do is you download spoilerboardwizard.ee, -E -E, then you right click on it, rename and change the EEE -E -E to EXE. Press enter. Are you sure you want to change it? Yep. And there it goes. It's a EXE file. It's uh, just over half a megabyte, so it's not very big. If you don't see the E if you don't see the extension here at the bottom, go on your computer to start, control panel. Folder option, double click folder options. Under view, it says here hide extension for known files. Um, so if this is checked, it's hidden. If it's unchecked, it's not hidden. So I always have mine unhidden. That way you can see what it is. So, okay, we got the file, it's in the exe format. We double click and we load the file. A disclaimer, this program is free software, it comes without any warranty, you use this program at your own risk. This program is designed for a CAM Master CNC using WinCNC. This program is not affiliated with CAM Master or WinCNC. If you click exit, then you exit. If you click accept, you accept the disclaimer. I've run this program for a long time um, and other, actually other people have also tested it, so here is a help. If you click on help, you'll see instructions. So the instructions are machine setup, turn on the CNC, turn on the CNC computer, turn on the air compressor if required, click on initialize, click on warm up if required, place the largest bit into the collet and tighten it, find the highest point on your spoiler board, Carefully lower the end mill till it touches the spoiler board. Leave the end mill touching the spoiler board. So, what I have here behind me is a. I'm not going to mill the whole spoiler board. So this is just an example. Um, so my my router bit is a four inch, and it's actually not touching the spoiler board, but. For simulation purposes, it is. The next thing you do is so my is machine setup. So now I go to the in the uh, instructions, go to the soft uh, the software setup. Select your machine from the pull down menu. So here, select pull down menu. I have a Cobra, and all this does is it sets the feed rate for X and Y and the feed rate for Z. Everything else is constant. Depth of cut, um, if I want to put it this way, if I show you, so if I go Stinger 1 new, feed rate X, Y is 350, feed rate Z is 300. These values come off, came off the um, camheads.com website. Uh, they, anybody can just look at them. I entered them into the program. Um, these other values are pretty much the same for all machines, except for you can override, which I'll explain in a minute. So, Cobra. Okay, so I've got my pull down Cobra. Measure the width of the spoiler board. So I'm not sure if I did, but I'll do it again. 20.25 and... 12.25. You measure exactly what it is. So my values are 
and 12.25. If yours is 20.333, enter that value in. It'll accept, it'll accept all numeric numbers. Round a bit diameter at minus 4 inches. Okay, go back to here. Use the default or set depth of cut. So you can either set it to 50 thousandths. What you set is what you get. If this is empty, you get the default. If this is set to 50 thousandths, it overrides the 10 thousandths. So that's pretty much for all these. Down here, router, spindle, support, auto, on, off. It is default to yes. So when you run your tap file, if your spindle automatically comes on, then it's auto on yes. If you have to manually turn on your router or spindle, then select no, then the file will automatically prompt you to turn it on. So technically I can click on generate G-code and generate the G-code. But what I'm going to do to speed this up is I'm going to set the step over at 100%. And I'm just going to slow the spindle down for the noise and I'm going to slow it down to 12,000. I could bracket out but I'm not. So I'm going to select uh, support, auto on off, yes. That's it. Generate G-code. Let me just pull this down a bit. Well, actually, I'll close it. Generate G code. Actually, let me open it up again. Sorry, messing about. I'll just pull it down that way. Generate G code. It asks you where you want to save it. I have here a um, folder, spoiler board wizard. Um, and the good thing about this is you set, you do this file one time. You put in your values and you save it to your desktop. The next time you need to mill your spoiler board, you lower the route a bit to the spoiler board and you just load the tap file, just like I'm going to do in the minute. So my file is 508 ATC. I save it. Okay, I'm going to view the file. So here's my tap file. This is my G code. It's not very big, it's 48 lines long, pretty simple. But it's a small spoiler board and I'm doing a 100%. So, spoiler board width 20.25, spoiler board length 12.25. Bit diameter, four inches. The reason why I added all this information is if you want to run this file two months time, you couldn't you might not remember what router bit you used. Well here you can see I used a four-inch router bit. My depth of cut was set at ten thousandths, my XY feed rate was set at six hundred, my um, Feed rate for Z was 30, my step over was 100% in this case, and my spindle speed was 12,000. So all that stuff, what I said here, oh, let me uh, close this, all that what I said here is all here. If you select no, then it will ask you... Um, Uh, it will ask you here, set router speed on off, and it will make you do a enter. That will be if you set, uh, does my uh, router spindle support on off, you select no, then automatically this will uh, populate when it runs and it will tell you to turn it on. So everything looks fine. I close it, just like you normally do. I go to file open click on this, open, click on the preview button. You can see that these lines are pretty wide but that's a step over 100% so that's four inches. What's going to happen when I press enter? The router is going to lift up. You can see it in the screen at the top. 
it's going to go to the back left hand corner, it's going to go round the perimeter first, then it will go up, zigzag, up and down. When it's done, it'll lift up, shut off, and, come, and go to the front left hand corner. So I'm going to press enter, and it asks me, this file will mill the spoiler board. Tool must be touching the spoiler board. If the tool is not touching the spoiler board, hit escape. If the tool is touching, hit enter. Continue, enter. So now it lifts up. 12,000 RPM. Okay, if I touch this, if I feel the spoiler board and say, hey, it's still not clean, there's still some gouges or some divots or it's a new machine spoiler board and it's still not level, all you do is you just jog it anywhere over the spoiler board. If you look at the screen, I have a blue box next to Z. I also have these locals, but it overrides them. But I have a blue box next to Z and it means that the machine spoiler board, either partially machined or whatever, the spoiler board we've just machined has set a Z0. So I come up to the top here, type in Z0, press enter. It'll go down to where, where the uh, last cut was, go to file, open, rerun the file again, open and hit enter. It's going to ask do I want to do this, yep, and off it goes again. Okay, so let me read the instructions. Note, if the spoiler board is not completely milled or level, type Z0 into Wincy and says press enter. Low, um, leave, the spoil, leave the end mill touch in the spoiler board and rerun the same tap file, which we just did. Keep repeating the same process until the spoiler board is completely machined. Okay, one extra step, if you have an FTC or an ATC, after the spoiler board is completely milled, level, type Z0, just like before, into WinCNC and press enter. So I'm going to go over to WinCNC, I'm going to go here, press, well actually I'm going to jog it anywhere, on the, anywhere above the board. So you can see in the picture it's up high, I'm going to type in Z0, press enter, comes down to where it was and it says here, leave the end mill touch in the spoiler board and type in M37Z0 and that is your calibrate switch command so you don't have to do calibrate switch, this does it for you. M37Z0. Press enter. That's it. So give this a go. Uh, you can run this program in air like I did. Uh, but do the exact dimensions. Use the exact tool. The exact step over. Uh, and that'll be it. Let me just pull up the file. One thing. I've got one thing I wanted to say.
is if you do a feed rate here and you do a you have an um, a stinger one and you have a feed rate of uh, 300 and you say hey I'm gonna go a feed rate of it won't take it well actually it will take it but it won't mill it at 600 because your WinCNC.ini file is set for the maximum so um, this is just information you think hey I've got a stinger one I'm gonna run it at 600 it won't do that it defaults to the maximum what there is um, anyway give it a go leave some comments and uh, either positive or negative and uh, appreciate it thank you bye